I just finished the Age of Calamity demo and I like it, but I'm surprised that I don't love it. Hit your review. All right, if you haven't played the demo, I really recommend you stop this video. You go play the demo right now because there's a, there's a little bit of a spoiler that happens in the demo that sets up pretty much the whole, the expectation of what this game was. So if you don't want that spoiled for you, go play the demo now, come back here and hear my thoughts on the game. So first of all, let's talk about this comment. Why, why did I only like it and not love it? I'm fresh off the demo. There's only two hours here to look at compared to two games that I love. I love Breath of the Wild. I have a hundred hours into it. Fantastic game, very little criticism. I love Hyrule Warriors. Everything about that is a celebration of the Zelda universe. And I would say I might have gotten more addicted to Hyrule Warriors than Breath of the Wild, which might be why I didn't necessarily love the demo. We're going to break it down into, I think, pretty much five, four or five parts today, um, this demo, in terms of what it was. It was a very beefy demo. In terms of what how you provide a demo to people, this is a good one. Usually when you go to E3 in those shows, you always get a 30-minute demo. This was a nice, juicy two hour demo with two missions, three side quests. You get to play around everything and your save file carries over into the final game and you get the lore. It's perfect for a demo. Now let's get right into the combat because the the fact that you, you have these two powerhouses of games that basically like made a baby and created something that is still really good it's, it blows my mind like how, how well they execute things. So the battle system, the combat, the game feels like you are pretty much in the Breath of the Wild game, which is crazy. And I would say, I would say actually the game is more Breath of the Wild than it is Hyrule Warriors. I think I can say that right off the bat. The combat feels a lot more tactical. Um, I feel button mashing is, is rewarded a lot less in this game. In Hyrule Warriors, I got through a lot of the early stages as I was learning how to play the game through button mashing. And it's only later on when I was trying to do the harder stuff that I learned about the different combos and how to use some to my advantage to like keep my distance or, or take certain enemies on. This one, right off the bat, I realized, oh, I have to be a little bit more precise in my hits. For example, Link's attack, if you do a a uh, weak attack, I think, followed by a strong attack that shoots you up in the air, and then there's a, a prompt to, to hit B to get your glider, then then lets you pull out your bow and arrow in slow mo so that you can actually aim and shoot something like that. That is strategic. That is really cool. And I have to say, I really, really like the depth that they have with the combat here. Everything from Link to Imp. So in the demo, you play as Link, you play as Impa, you play as Zelda. They all play extremely differently. And there's just so much depth and comboing that just wasn't available in Hyrule Warriors. And it wasn't really available, I'd say, in the Breath of the Wild combat either. So the combat that we're seeing in this demo is actually superior to both of the games that it is inspired from and for that i really applaud it i really like the combat uh, i think the muscle memory will have to come into play at some points like you pretty much have uh if you hit the r the right button it opens up like a menu wheel to use one of your um runes in different ways and sometimes you have to do it with like a two second within a two second window to hit an enemy that is really good and i was starting to get the muscle memory down by the end of the demo and I think after I put in a couple more hours into this, it's going to flow really well. And then you have like the the whiz robes who have um, all of their weapon, like the rods, and then you can have the rods on another wheel when you hit the left button. Really cool stuff. I love that. I love the boss fights. Um, they didn't really feel as epic. I don't know if these boss fights were properly like boss fights uh, as per the Hyrule Warriors boss fight, but they felt less epic. They felt more challenging. Of course, I was playing on hard mode, so maybe that's why. So let's move on to the next point, which is the lore and the tone. As soon as I booted up this demo, I could tell right away that, okay, this thing is going to be dark. And it was really interesting to see the opening of the demo that it was like just showing destruction. And unlike Hyrule Warriors, where it's like, dun, dun, and like, it, it's really like, in your face hey you're in the zelda universe this one is like black screen high warriors age of calamity and and the music is very subdued and the tone is very gloomy and dark because this is a dark time it, it really really felt like an adult tone and 
super different tone. And maybe that's part of why I'm not falling in love with it yet. I tend to be more of a cheery, positive guy. And the fact that this is such a dark tone based game, maybe that just wears me down. I don't know. But to others, I can see that being really exciting. Now, that also takes us to the lore of the game, which I think the biggest surprise, which we see right off the bat, is the little egg guardian. It seems like it plays a key part. So the game starts off with, the demo starts off with, oh, the calamity has happened. And this little egg thing goes back in time to before everything goes to shit. And he's trying to save and, and like alert. So the heroes, Link, Zelda, all that, they're all conscious of their own doom, which is the same as the audience. And this is what everyone's been kind of joking about for the last couple of weeks since the game was announced was, oh, really not looking forward to the ending. But now it's like, oh my God, there's a, we can actually like change the story. We can save the guardians potentially. And now it kind of just throws everything up in the air. Anything can go. So instead of like kind of playing a linear game, it's a nice, it's a nice hook. It's a nice flip of expectation. And I like that they got it out of the way right in the demo, right at the beginning. Um, so it's not like a big plot twist. It's just like, oh yeah, you thought you were going to just replay this and it would end all bad. No, no, no. There's more to it. And then there's a little tease in one of the cutscenes too, where there's another little egg thing, but this one's not blue. It's red, which probably means it's evil. Um, so how's that going to play out? I'm curious. I got to get into this lore now. So the lore is good too, but yeah, the tone maybe just not my flavoring. The other thing is the music. And maybe this too plays a really important part. The music felt very unique. It's very different. Hyrule Warriors was like this really pump you up. Uh, you're, you're just going to destroy things and you're like this super powerhouse of a character. And it, it's really like uplifting, high energy, upbeat. And then when you look at the Breath of the Wild music, it's really like we're running through a field and there's all this beautiful music and look how serene this is. And, you know, sometimes there's like the little piano when the, the guardians come. It's like dee -dee 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 -dee. And in here, they kind of blended it where I think they went more with the Breath of the Wild music. But then they tried to like spice it up to be a little bit more upbeat, but not to the intensity that Hyrule Warriors is. And you end up with nothing that really stands out, but it kind of, it's just like a nice background that fits the mood, but doesn't really pump me up. And that's something I miss. I will say the music that they were playing over the map that was super catchy. That was my favorite track. It's the one I was humming after the stream was done. And I really, really like that one. So when it comes to music, there is one track I like. But hey, this is just a demo. Maybe there'll be more later down. But Hyrule Warriors, I preferred the, the music of Hyrule Warriors. Next and lastly, the all the extra mechanics. So the world map, the side quests, what else we have? The, the challenges, there's a lot to do outside of the main line and the main story. So as you are destroying things, you're going to be collecting a bunch of different fruits and weapons and all that. And you can eventually unlock a smithy, which lets you upgrade things. So you have the whole fuse system from Hyrule Warriors here, which I love. I like that. I wouldn't say I love it. I like that. I like that. And I love the fact that on the map, there are quests that you can unlock that unlock other things. And I much prefer that system over the Hyrule Warriors badge system. That system grew old quick. Um, so I'm glad to see that here. And it's a whole new iteration. And it feels, I mean, it's still going to be grindy, but it just feels more rewarding that you're completing quests instead of just crafting badges. So overall, there's a lot of strong points. Overall, I'm still excited for this game. I don't want to come across as someone who's just bumming on this. But I think my expectation was... Maybe it made me realize I was really more addicted and in love with the Hyrule Warriors formula. Um, and because Breath of the Wild and Hyrule Warriors are quite different games, when you think about it in tone and energy, when you create something in the middle, you get a little bit of best of both worlds. But it's like 
in food, you know, a taco is really good, a burger is really good, but when you put the two together, you get something that's not more delicious, not equally good, but it's kind of like, eh, it's okay, it's like a Mexican burger. So that's how I see it. I'm really excited for this. I really like the plot twist that was introduced in the demo. I love how much more depth we have in the combat. I'm going to be buying this day one. I really want to play this uh, throughout. Like, it really hurt when they're like, oh, this is where the story ends. You, you're going to have to wait until the game comes out to play the rest. So really looking forward to it. I really hope, I can't imagine this game honestly being more than 20 to 30 hours from what I've seen. But it's a demo, and maybe there's a lot more that's going to be unlocked and shown in the last version. I mean, we still have a month left before this game comes out, so hopefully we're going to see more stuff that I can really sink my teeth into because this just kind of wet my appetite, and I'm like, okay, give me more, give me more. So if you have tried the demo, let me know what you loved. If you are more of a Hyrule Warriors fan, if you are more of a Breath of the Wild fan, or if this demo just blew you away and you are like, this is better than both games, everything I've experienced before. I absolutely need this. Let me know, and I'll see you on the next Hey J Review. Until then, keep it classy.